Let's start with our warm-ups today and just be gentle. So shoulders back and down, ankles, knees, hips, shoulders lined up, reach your crown to the ceiling, start feeling that spine opening. Spread your toes, get the core active and supporting your low back, and relax your shoulders. Take a moment to breathe in, drawing in relaxation. And as you exhale, just release any stress. And then inhaling, bring your arms to shoulder level, keeping your shoulders down and your fingers reaching out. Exhale, hands to your heart, elbows back, open chest. And exhale to the front. Now inhale to the front. Exhale, your hands behind you. Press the hands to the floor, lift your heart, spread your toes, stretch your spine, and then exhale, pivot at your hips coming over. Deepen as far as you'd like to go, hands up, head down, move your chin around, let the neck relax a little bit, and then knees bent just slightly as you wind from the bottom of the spine into your back bend once more. Heart high, shoulders down, stretch your spine open, even in the back bend. And then inhale, upright, releasing your arms. Take a moment, feeling your body. And again, inhale, reaching out, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, and clasp your hands the opposite way behind you. Again, hands down, heart high, stretching the spine open in the back bend. And then exhale over. And just let the whole body stretch along the back, breathing, relaxing, whatever needs relaxing. And again, lifting the ribs and dropping the sitting bones as you wind from the bottom of the spine into the upper body back bend, stretch through the top of your head. Spread your toes and don't forget to breathe. And then inhale upright, release your arms, and take a moment just noticing a little bit more energy through you. And we'll do our side stretches next. So let's keep one hand down, the other arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Stretch the hands, keep everything straight, facing the front, and lean over to one side. So slide that hand down past, toward or past your knee, wherever it goes and push the foot on the opposite side down. Feel that rib area expand and the spine move sideways. And then inhale back upright, release your arm. Take a moment, feel that side and how they're different. And bring the other arm out, palm to the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Keep the shoulder itself and shoulder blade down toward your waist, this hand stretching down toward your foot. And we no twist to the other side. Open those ribs, stretch it out, hands sliding along the way. And again, just breathe into it, pushing your foot down and maximizing that side opening. Inhale up, release your arm. Take a moment, feeling the sides a little bit more open, and then really stretch your spine apart for our twist. So arms at shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Clasp your elbows, sitting bones down, base of the skull up, stretch the spine apart, and twist to one side. Breathe even on both feet, and keep it that way as you exhale in the twist, and do that forward pivot. Take a breath, lifting your hips, relaxing your arms next to your ears. And pulling your body as close to your leg as you'd like, but keep the weight on both feet. And then in the in, in, inhaling, work your way up in the twist. Chest high, shoulders down, and head slightly back. Remember, gentle on your low back when you're twisting. Take a breath or two there, stretching through the top of your head. Inhale upright, exhale around to the center, and switch your arms. And again, stretch the spine apart and twist to the other side. Breathe again. Then take an exhale over. And again, weight on both feet as evenly as you can keep it. Arms next to your ears. Shoulder blades still toward your waist, even as you're pivoted forward. 
Lift your sitting bones, stretch those legs, and then bend your knees just slightly as you work your way back up in the twist into that upper body for your back bend. Chest high, elbows back, shoulders down. Don't forget to breathe. And on an inhalation, come upright, exhale around to the center, shoulders down, fingertips are reaching up into extended neck. Stretch high on one side, come up on the opposite toe. So the side you stretch, the foot stays flat. You just get those ribs again, side stretching apart. Exhale that arm down and inhale the other one up. And again, up on the toes of that foot that you're not pressing down. Take a breath, stretch it out. Let's do that again on the first side. Lengthening, feeling that side opening. Exhale down, and once more up, stretch it out. Then bring both feet down, both arms up, shoulders down, clasp your fingers, press the palms up toward the ceiling, and breathe. Arms by your ears, pivot forward with that hand clasp pushing out, stretch it out, and drop into a leg doll. Tuck in your chin. Drop as deeply as you feel appropriate today. Lift your sitting bones for that back of the leg stretch. Slide your hands up under your knees, halfway up stretch. And then back into ragdoll. Knees bent, hands together, inhaling. Bring your hands to your heart, shoulders down. Keep them down as you bring your hands toward the ceiling. And a nice back bend, lifting the chest. Exhale, hands to your heart, and back into mountain pose. Shoulders down, crown high. Just feel your whole body stretch your spine apart, and angle your toes slightly out. Bend your knees toward your toes, hands above your knees. Just position, don't support. We're going to bring our shoulder across to the opposite knee in that twist, just gently. Turn your whole body so the hips, ribs, and shoulder turn as you bring the shoulder down toward the opposite knee. Hips go slightly back behind you, and you're turning your whole body, not just your neck, toward the side. So hips up slightly on the side you're lifting and turning toward. And then exhale, turn back to the center. Keep those shoulders relaxed. Remember, no pressure in those hands, just position. And again, lengthening the spine nice and straight and long. Exhale, bring the shoulder down and across as you lift the hip up. And again, turning your whole body, hips, ribs, and shoulder over toward the side. Take a moment and breathe, stretching it out through the spine. And then again, exhale, turn back to the center, shoulders toward your waist, sitting bones back behind you, crown reaching away. Remember, no pressure in your hands. Inhale, coming back up, turn the feet to the center, relax your shoulders down into mountain pose. Feel your body a little bit more energized throughout, especially the spine. Arms out, palms toward the ceiling, Hands right above your shoulders. Remember, shoulder blades, shoulders toward your waist, sitting bones toward your heels. Crown reaching up toward your hands, fingertips toward the ceiling. Take a breath there. Keep that core activated the way into our chair squat. So knees toward your toes, arms next to your ears. Push those sitting bones behind you a little further like you're sitting in the chair. Remember, your knees don't go beyond your toes. You only squat as deeply as your knees want to go. Take a moment there. Just feel your body as you sink deeper into that squat. Fingertips coming up, leading your way back into extended neck. Shoulders are still down. Turn the palms out, shoulder level. Stretch it out. Push to one side. Feel that side open. Inhale back to the center and over to the other side. Back to the center, stretch the fingers out and release the arms. Just shake it out. Take a breath, 
Exhale, any tension, shoulders relaxing down. Everything nice and ankles, knees, shoulders, hips and shoulders align. Core active, crown to the ceiling. Spread your balance, foot toe, and get ready for our balance practice. So lift the toes, put them down, but don't work with them. You want the ball of the foot area and the heel supporting you. But you don't want the toes ripping because that lifts the ball of the foot and needs support. Make sure everything's lined up and that core is activated to support the foot for your other foot. Little, more, much more different. And again, pull it in as far as you want. Don't cross it over. So roll that top of the thigh and keep it straight. And suck by your ankle when you're stable. You can make it all options open in that angle, making sure that we're not getting stiff and cool. And then flex and point as you put that foot back down. Take a breath and shift everything over to the other foot. So remember, lift the toes, don't grip. Everything lined up, core supporting, shoulders relaxing. Sink into that opposite foot and bring the other leg up as far as it wants to go toward your chest. And again, when you're stable there, you can circle that ankle both ways. Working, making sure that it's nice and flexible. And then flex and point the foot before you put it down, getting everything lined up again. Take a moment as you get back in the mountain pose, just focusing inward, noticing how your body is. Responding to your yoga dip, spread your toes. Exhale, tension. One more side work. Let's do a triangle. So step as wide as you'd like, as much as the inseam length of your leg between your ankle bones. So it can be narrower, that's fine, but don't make it too wide. Shoulders down, arms out, toes spreading, crown to the ceiling, star position. And then we're returning one foot, but not the hips. And then the other foot, heel back, toes forward, but not the hips. So you want everything still in your body, facing as much toward the side of the man as you can. Spread your toes, keep the knees straight. Hip joint is your focus as you push, 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 push toward the side. So feel the sides opening as you're in that stretch. Palms to the front. And pivot one hand down, the other one going straight above. So go as deeply into that twist as you want. You can bring it all the way into it if that's where you want to be today, or just part way. Remember, personal practice. Keep this back hip back and the arms straight across from each other. Head reaching to the side. Don't dip it down too much. You want to keep it in line with the rest of the spine. Take a moment and breathe. If you want to, you can rotate that twist, whole body turning slightly to look up toward that hand in the air, whole torso, but keep the hips open to the side. And then looking to the front, let the hand in the air pivot you back up, shoulder level as you get back to the top into star position, feet to the front. Stretch it out and release your arms. Take a moment, feel in your body, your hips, your sides, your ribs, wherever you're noticing all that opening from your triangle. Shoulders back and down. And again, arms up, getting ready to twist to the other side. Spread your toes out. Turn the first foot 90 degrees, no turning your hips. Keep that knee going toward your toes. Heel back, toes forward, always toes aligned, hips open up. This is your focal point for the push as you reach, 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 reach toward the side, palms to the front, and pivot. You can go wherever your triangle wants. This is a good triangle. This is a good triangle. Anything you want to do is a good triangle as long as you don't turn your body forward. Stretch it out, reach the hands away from each other, the head to the side, pull that hip back that's on top, Make sure the whole body is as straight toward the front as you can. Take a breath, stretch it out, keep both knees straight as much as you can. And then again, leave the hand in the air, keep those shoulders down as you 
complete them toward palms toward the floor and toes toward the front. Reach out through all five points in your star. And release into mountain pose. As you get back into mountain pose, just take a moment feeling your sides maybe a little more open. Notice what's going on in your hips and breath and everything. Bring your palms together. Look at them as you bring them up into that nice upper body, that bend with the thumbs back as you look at them and lift your heart. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart, pivoting over, and exhale, lean down. Coming into child pose for our floor transition. Hands, palms up, forehead toward the floor. Bring your knees together, get a stretch on your back if you want, or separate them, whichever works for you today. Take a breath. Just relaxing and chilling. And then inhale, sitting up, and come to your knees, turning toward the side of your mat. You want to fold it over and put your knees on the fold for a little extra cushioning so that we can come up onto our knees. And then bring your hands out in front of you into um, table position just briefly. We're going to move one leg out to the side, so right leg out to the side, toes toward the front, and then walk the hands back up so that you keep your body nice and open at the front. I find that's the easiest way to get that leg out without any compromising. So knee right above, right under the hip, and this leg straight, ankle knee, hip, coming into that open pelvis. And we're going to do our Gate pose. So the hand on the side with the leg out stays on the leg, the other arm out to the side, shoulder level, shoulder down. Palm toward the ceiling, shoulder blade toward your waist as you bring that arm up and to the ceiling. And then keeping the hips and shoulders facing the front, just like in triangle, we're going to slide that hand along toward your knee or foot. So only as far as it wants to go, remember. Knee straight on that leg that's out. Feel those ribs open on the sides. Stretch out through your head and fingertips. As you relax into the position, your hand may keep going toward your foot. That's okay. Take a breath. Keep the body facing forward. Hips open, shoulders open. Take a moment to breathe. Stretch it up deeper. And then inhale, coming back up. Exhale the arm out, palm toward the floor, and down at your side. And again, we're going to pivot forward and bring that leg back in into table position, getting things lined up again, and then bringing the other foot out, toes to the front, and walking your hands up to your hips. Again, hips are open, shoulders are open, everything facing the front. Take a moment and breathe. You can pat extra under that knee anytime you need to. Arm along your leg that's extended, the other arm out at shoulder length. So your body is straight up from that knee, hip, shoulder, and up through the crown. Turn the palm toward the ceiling again. Shoulder stays down as you bring that arm up over the knee. Everything straight, facing the front, and lean to the side. So just stretch out through the head and fingertips, slide this hand toward your knee or ankle wherever it's going. Breathe into it, feel those ribs stretching apart. Exhale any tension as you do, you may go deeper. Just notice what your body is telling you it needs to do. If it needs gentle, just be gentle. If it wants to go deeper, just allow it to happen when it's ready, but don't force anything. Take a moment to breathe, tension out. And then inhale, sliding back up. Keep the shoulder blade, shoulder towards your waist. Turn the hand palm out as you bring it toward your shoulder level and release. And again, flip forward, bring that leg back in. Sit back on your heels and flip your mat, coming into kneeling position. Take a moment there, just feeling your body. Make sure that spine is nice and straight, upright. Core supporting your lower back, shoulders toward your waist, back and down, crown toward the ceiling. Don't forget to breathe. 
Just notice how things are through the sides, through the spine, through your whole body. And then let's slide off the legs down by the feet to the front, sitting down slightly behind you into staff position. And then bring your legs wide as much as you want. Press out through those heels, pull the toes back, keep those sitting bones slightly behind you, and shoulders back and then activate the core, hands at your sides. Take a moment there, feeling your body sink into the sitting bones, slide the hands up and palms down at shoulder level, palms up toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Keep the shoulder blades where? Toward your waist. Exhale, bring your hands down, sink into the sitting bones. Stretch up. And then exhale again, hands down to your shoulders. As you stretch up this time, we're twisting, turning toward one of the legs. And then exhale down. Stretch up from the sitting bones out through the fingertips. Exhale, lead with your heart. And reach for your foot, your leg, or foot. Keep your arms by your ears for a moment. Stretch it out a little further. Sitting bones as much down as you want. This back one may come up a little bit, that's okay. We're gonna go into a twist from here. So you can turn and look under your arm toward the front. You can bring your elbow inside the knee and hold your ankle. And then bring the arm that's up all the way toward the ceiling above your shoulder. Palm toward the toes. And reach over, again, a nice side stretch through your whole body as you're turned in that twist. So you're looking to the front or slightly up toward the ceiling, or a lot up to the ceiling if you're really flexible in the twist. Reaching the hand toward your toes or beyond, whatever works for you. And keep the arm by your ear. Keep that whole body, hip, rib, and shoulder turning forward. Remember, this hip can be up a little bit the more you go into the twist. Take a breath, just relax into it. And then inhale, bring the hand up, and like in triangle, let it lead you back to the center, palms toward the floor, and release. Yeah, your whole body just a little differently stretched from that side opening. And of course, we're going to yeah, balance the body and grow the other way. So sitting bones behind you, shoulders back and down, core supporting your spine and stretching open through the crown. Arms again, shoulder level with the shoulders down. Turn the palms up, hands above your shoulders. Exhale, hands down, sink into your sitting bones. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale again, just sink shoulders down and crown still high. Inhale and stretch as you exhale and turn to your foot. Once more, bring those hands down. Inhale and stretch. And exhale and sink. Really stretch it up this time. Lead with your heart and reach for your foot. And again, keep the arms by your ears as long as you can. And then drop them to the foot or the leg or the floor when you're ready. Keep pushing up, don't forget through the heels, keep the knees as straight as you can, so you may want to be pulling those kneecaps toward your thighs, tightening the front of the thighs, so those bits of the legs keep stretching down toward the floor. Reach for the toes as much as you can, and breathe. And again, twisting, turn to the front, looking under your arm, if that's where you want to be, or leverage a little on that leg, Bring that arm out and up toward the ceiling. Turn the palm toward your head, toward your toes, and reach again into that side opening as you go into that stretch and twist. So keep lengthening through the spine. Keep those ribs stretching apart on the side that's up as you slightly contract on the other side. And remember that back hip they go up as you turn more into the twist. Take a breath, reach out your head and fingertips toward the toes. Really feel your whole body opening. And then inhaling, bring that hand leading back up, coming out into a stretched position, palms toward the floor at shoulder level. And release your hands, bend your knees, bring them in, and back into staff position. 
Feel the sides more open. Feel your breath and your body. Shoulders back and down, everything aligned in step. Activate your core, bring your feet to the end of the mat. It's time to slowly roll to the floor. As you come all the way down onto the mat, just take a moment to relax, shoulders down, feet hip width apart. Relax on the sacrum, get your whole body aligned on the floor. And then bring your hands to T position, straight out from the sides. And don't forget to breathe. Exhale any tension. Let's do our final twist to align and balance everything. So bending your knees slightly, press the back gently down. You can bend your right leg or keep it straight as you bring the foot to the ceiling. Flex the foot as you get it as up as it wants to be. Press out through the bottom of the foot. Roll with your head on the floor, turning to the left side, foot to the floor, uh, hands together in front of you, and you're on the side of your body. Hold the, what is this? Right foot with your left hand, and bring your right hand to the ceiling, palm open. Keep it at shoulder level as you lower the back of the hand toward the floor behind you, looking at that arm as you lower it, coming into your twist. So again, really opening that side of your body as you get into your twist as deeply as you want. Hold the foot or leg to keep your lower back in the twist. Exhale, turning your head toward the arm behind you for your neck twist. Remember, personal practice, whatever's right for your body. And just like gravity, bring the hand toward the floor. That's the middle back twist. It'll happen when gravity is ready to release into a deeper twist. So just keep breathing, exhaling, letting the twist happen. And of course, hold your twists on your arm longer, but for now, just release that foot, rolling onto your back, and flex the heel. Keep that blades extended and the core activated as you let the heel lower back to the floor. And whenever it gets down, just totally relax as you get ready to twist to the other side. Again, feet hip width apart, everything releasing and relaxing, shoulders, shoulder blades down, hands, palms up at T position. Sitting by slightly toward your heel so that back goes gently down as you bring the left leg up. You can keep it straight or bend it wherever it goes. Just press out through the heel as you get it all the way extended. And again, we're rolling with the head on the floor. Don't overwork your neck. And bring your hands together in front of you and your foot down. So you're on your right side, holding your left foot with your right hand or your leg, wherever it goes, and bringing your left arm up to the ceiling. Keep the palm open as you look at it, right at shoulder level, lowering it to the floor behind you. So again, it may stay in the air, that's okay. That's your body, let it do what it needs to do. And then breathe and relax. As you exhale, things will release along the spine and deepen into your twist and let it happen, but don't force it. And again, the more you hold your foot, the more that lower back is in the twist, be gentle if you need to. And for your neck, the more you turn and look at that hand behind you, the more your neck is in the twist. Don't go there if your neck has issues. And of course, breathe deep, letting things relax and deepen into your twist when your body is ready. Shoulder blades where? Yeah, still toward the waist always. Take a breath. Just relax as deeply as you like. And then when you're ready to release, let go of the leg, roll all the way onto your back and flex the heel. Keep the leg as straight as you can, lowering it slowly to the floor. And again, whenever it gets there, just relax, bringing your toes toward each other, letting those hips release into the surface beneath you. Shift your hands, palms up near your sides, and let your shoulders release into the surface beneath you as well. Corpse position for our final relaxation. Exhale, let your body grow heavy. And just sink deep into that surface beneath you. Everything just to release. Letting thoughts of your body release as well. 
And as those thoughts disappear, know that other thoughts will come to your mind. Just let them go as well. It's the job of your mind to produce thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention and let the thoughts drift away as easily as your breath, flowing in and out without awareness. And just to let go of the past, to forget the future, let everything just drift like a cloud disappearing without awareness. Attention focusing inward, only on that peace within. Fill your body with peace, fill your mind with peace, and take a few moments being peace. And of course, if that relaxation feels so good today, just keep relaxing. I think it's time to get ready for the rest of your day. Just begin drawing energy and awareness with your breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And as you breathe more deeply, just begin gently moving your body how it feels good. Breathe in, stretching more completely whenever you're ready. And when you're ready for that, Final yoga hug of appreciation. Sitting bones toward your heels, back gently pressing down. Draw your heels toward your hips and your knees toward your heart. Wrap your arms around, give yourself that appreciative yoga hug, letting your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, head and feet to the floor, roll over to the side and sit back up getting ready for whenever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.